we're going to be palpating flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris has two origins. So the first one I'm going to identify is the humoral attachment of the common flexor tendon and the medial epicondyle humerus, which is right in this area. I'm going to show my partner the action I'd like her to do, which is a combination of flexion and ulnar deviation of the wrist. So she's going to repeat that a few times, and I can easily feel my fingers getting picked up and kind of lifted from that muscle belly in this region right here. So this would be one of its two attachments. Now the other attachment is going to be on the ulna itself. So we're going to be positioning her arm kind of just by adding more flexion into it so you can have a visual of the olecranon. So the olecranon right here is a part of the secondary origin, but we're gonna slide onto kind of more of this posterior medial surface. Just take caution because there is a nerve very close by as the ulnar nerve goes between these two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris. You're gonna gently push your fingertips onto that ulna, that proximal surface. And I'm going to ask my partner to again go by and do that same action. So flexion and ulnar deviation. Good. And again, you can easily feel your fingers getting lifted from that ulnar shaft. So we have the proximal ulna and olecranon as our secondary origin, along with that, again, medial epicondyle of the humerus. I'm going to turn her hand a little bit on this. I'm going to use a pincher grasp now. And she's going to repeat that action a few times and I'm going to follow down her forearm as she does that, making our way towards the wrist. And around this region, it's starting to turn more tendinous. So I'm going to bring her forearm down and we're going to again, just kind of repeat that action a few times as I follow our tendon towards the carpal vein area and its insertion. Now this time I'm just going to give you some resistance and just pull against me. Good. So as we cross the wrist right in here, the first of its three insertions is on what we call pisiform. So this carpal bone on that proximal row. From pisiform, the next attachment is going to be a little bit distal. So we roll off of pisiform and the head in towards the palm of the hand slightly. And this is the hook of hamate right in here in the distal row carpals. And then again, the third and final attachment is right here on the anterior base of the fifth metacarpal. So again, you can use the lateral side of, or the outer side, I should say, of this carpal bone to feel where its base is. So we have three insertions, pisiform, hook of hamate, anterior base of the fifth metacarpal. Um, the nerve that went underneath flexor carpi ulnaris was the ulnar nerve, and it's also the nerve that innervates this muscle.